Hello, my name's Greg McGee and I co-run the Art Gallery According to McGee in York and I'm here to enjoy the beginning of the York Food and Drink Festival. I love art and it's pretty much the same way I love food. There's a lot of art that kills itself because it tries to be an idea or a concept and there's a lot of food around that has a lot of embellishments and improvements and preservation. I like it simple. This is the good stuff. Not the fiddly stuff, it reminds me a little bit of when you compare the 70s rock guitarists to the 80s rock guitarists. You know that whammy, whittly stuff, you just want to kill it. You keep your food simple, you make me a happy guy. Let's all have a great time. I cannot wait to turn this cake, honey. Are you watching? Yeah. This is how you do it. You watching? Like that. See that? It's like making love to a beautiful woman. If that's how you make love with your children, I'd be worried. <laughs> the best thing about this part of the York Food and Drink Festival is that, you know, looking at the Victorian approach to food and science, it mirrors our approach to food and science. Victorian cooking didn't want to reinvent the wheel. You can't reinvent the wheel. You can just make a really good wheel and you can whisk some really good cream. I mean, I don't know what your thoughts on Victorian cooking is, Annie. Victorian cooking's had a really, really bad press, um, mainly because I think people see this, the stodgy side of Victorian cooking and also the, the bad side of science, so tinned food coming in, that kind of thing. But you're absolutely right, a lot of the time it's just the same as today, so you've got more knowledge of nutrients, you've got better knowledge of preservation, these are nice tinned peaches, but because tinned peaches have a tendency to look sort of fairly anemic, I've uh, just put some red food colouring in the middle of them to make them look a little bit more realistic. Nothing wrong with a bit of war paint from time to time. Absolutely not, and it's being rapidly commercialised in the 19th century, so it's very much a Victorian cheat. But as much as anything, it's also about making sure that the middle classes who are ever growing in the Victorian period can cook things quickly. So just as today people are rushing out to go and buy Jamie's 30 minutes meals, um, in the day people are saying, actually, why should we boil calves feet for five hours and then strain it and then clarify it and then boil it a bit more to make jelly? when we can buy packet gelatin. The joy of the Victorian era is that a lot of these things are commercially available now, which means that rather than having to use all of your own stuff that you've done, you can literally just go out, buy some glacé cherries, whack them on your trifle. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy different coloured jams, all sorts of things. And in some ways, it completely devalues cuisine, but in other ways, why shouldn't everybody be able to do it? I think the main thing is that it tastes good. But it does look damnably good too. Thank you. And what's the title of this uh, culinary masterpiece? It's just a trifle. A trifle? Keep it simple, stupid. I love Tuscan poets, Boccaccio, Petrarch, Dante. I love the artists, Rossetti, Botticelli. But the wines, I'm ignorant. Teach me. That was Chardonnay Dalcaro. The dominant tone for me was definitely the lemon. I don't know what you thought. I thought it was more grapefruit. Grapefruit, you're picking up on the grapefruit? Mm -hmm. It did certainly have a zest. I got the more zesty lemon. Yeah? A lot of the time, Chardonnay is spoiled because of the oak. Yeah. Because that wasn't oaky. It wasn't oaky at all. I would say it was okay, but not oaky. Do you like that? <laughs> I cannot help but discern the presence of cherry blossom in that. Spring. Springtime. Spring yeah. It is really evocative. That's heavy stuff. What do you think of the British palate? Have they got a lot to learn on the wine front? They are learning a lot. They are, they are learning a lot. Thanks to you. Thanks to people like me, and I hope me as well. The good thing about wine is the more you drink, the more your palate yeah. get educated without you knowing it. Yeah. So this is why. And then one day you get that epiphany and you think, you know what, I got, I mean, I picked up on the cherry there, and then you said cherry, so I feel really proud of myself. Yeah, yeah you should be. Yeah, thanks for that. York Food and Drink Festival will make York a very happy place for a man like me to be.